This should be a $250,000 investment. But I have it priced $70,000 under that. Why? Because another episode of the Investment Properties Sales Show thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV. Giving it to you straight. Folks. You know what I love? I love quads. Anybody who's ever watched Holton Wise TV knows my favorite type of investment property is a quad, okay? Now, if there's a negative to a quad, it's that there's not a large inventory of them in the Cleveland market. As far as the positives go, I consider them to be the greatest type of investment, right? Mostly because, right? Mostly because of the financing, right? In real estate, folks, financing is the key to creating like a massive amount of wealth, right? Real estate as an investment vehicle compared to other investment vehicles, like, uh, I don't know, investing in like cryptocurrency or friggin', uh, dude, I don't know. I used to own several apartment buildings and we had a partner. He was a doctor and uh, he was from L.A. And uh, we ended up buying him out of that investment because he went broke investing in a froyo business right so you could do businesses of any kind right some people are selling dream catchers on etsy man i don't know you could invest in like a million different things right but i consider real estate to be the better investment the best investment of all of them because of the financing right uh in most cases you could buy rental properties with 25 percent right you only put down one piece of the pie the bank kicks in 75 percent of it dude you can't do that to my understanding, with a Froyo business, right? Also, like, yogurt's not even that good. But anyway, you can't do that with your, your Etsy dream catchers. You can't do that with your crypto. Don't even get me started on crypto. That's just like a whole friggin' oh, the crypto boys, the crypto bros out there, dude. If you're thinking crypto is a reasonable investment, Lord have mercy on your soul. But that is probably a topic for another day, right? With those investments, right, uh, the, the main thing, right? is you can't use financing, right? You take the stock market, right? There's a lot of amazing stocks to invest in, right? So, like, I won't poop on investing uh, in the stock market like I poo-poo on investing in Froyo, Dreamcatchers, and Bitcoin. But with investing in the stock market, you can't get somebody to loan you a bunch of money to do it, right? You can with real estate. And the best kind of real estate uh, investment loan is going to be a residential loan. And the biggest property you can get with a residential loan is a four unit. That's why it's my favorite, folks. I like it more than a five, a six, a seven, an eight, a nine, a ten. Because if you're buying five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten unit apartment buildings, you don't get amazing 30 year financing. The financing is actually terrible on those. It's actually horrible, right? So you should either stop if you're a brand new investor, stop at four units uh, when you're just getting started. Or if you're going to go into commercial, try to go bigger, right? Try to get, like, above 12 units in your buildings, right? Uh, my dude Grant Cardone out there, he's telling people not to do anything under 16, right? Under 16, it's like that 5 to 16 units. Ooh, tough to finance those, right? So for all those reasons, love me some four-unit buildings. Now, today's four-unit building is going to combine all that goodness I just talked about with the Burr strategy, y'all. Buy, renovate, rent, refinance, repeat, right? So we get to do that awesome financing, 25% down. Except for in this case, we get to do it with even less money down because we're going to be able to refi it out, right? What I have for you, folks. 2072 West 95th, Cleveland, floor 4102. Fully occupied four-unit apartment building. I priced it at 179.9. If you're paying attention to the Cleveland market today, right now, this particular property should normally be a $250,000 property, right? Market rents, we're a little bit shy of market rents, but we're very close. So just some small rental increases. Three grand, right? Three grand a month, 36 grand a year. This should be a $250,000 investment. But I have it priced $70,000 under that. Why? Because it's going to require a lead certification uh, bid to be performed on it, or lead certification renovation, rather, right? Uh, if you guys have been paying attention to Cleveland Market, paying attention to what I'm talking about here on Holton Wise TV, I've been telling you guys 
about the new lead certification laws and uh, how that process works. If this is the first time you've come across me, my show, nobody's ever told you about these lead cert laws, don't worry. Below this video, I got a link to a half hour long video explaining to you the process in its complete entirety. And right here on the screen, I have a line by line bid to get this property completely lead certified, right? And if you guys have noticed and paid attention to, to what I've been saying about these lead certification processes, is the biggest cost you're ever going to incur is if your property has wood siding. Because to get it lead certified, the smart man just goes in, bites the bullet, rips the Band-Aid off, and encapsulates it by vinyl siding the entire building. We don't have to deal with that here. However, the other huge cost to this, right? I'm talking like buku bucks when it comes to lead certifying these properties is going to come from siding or having to replace original old windows. And that, folks is the one drawback to this particular four unit. Do four units in general have drawbacks? No! I've been talking about that for like five minutes, folks. Stick with me. Four units are awesome. But this particular four unit, you got to drop like 40 Gs, $42,660 to have my company go in and get this thing completely led certified to you. Biggest cost, largest portion of that bid is because we have to go in and replace all the windows, right? Because that's your pain point, right? The old... Uh, wood windows, because you have to get it re-lead certified every two years, folks. For cheaper than uh, this bid, could we go in and like scrape and paint all those windows? Yeah, but guess what? You're going to have to pay us to do it again in two years and in two years and in two years because that is where a huge portion, almost in its entirety, the majority of the lead hazards are going to be found in your friction points, right? Window up, down, up, down, up, down. That's your friction point creates that dust, right? Before 1978, you had your lead paint in there. So all your new paint that you've been painting over it for the last 40-something years, it's going to peel off, right? It's going to wear off from all that friction, and then you're going to get your lead dust hazards, right? So you just have to bite the bullet one time, replace it with a vinyl window, and then going forward, your lead certification issues are almost nothing, right? So uh, you have a great opportunity here, right? A property like this, ARV, folks, we're looking at about 250 right? I got it priced 70k less than that. So you're at home, you're doing the math, you're like, whoa, bro, that's like, uh, that's like uh, 222. And then minus that off of the 250, what is that? That's almost 30k in equity, folks. You go ahead and do that refi, you're getting almost all of your money back and you're able to rock and roll right where you started, almost the same amount of money to buy yourself another quad and then another quad and another quad or you might want to get wild get crazy and buy yourself 16 units or larger i don't know whatever you want to do but my team is here to help you do all of it right and uh if you like what you see so far and you want to make an offer on this property go ahead and just reach out to my team sales at holdenwise.com include your proof of funds if you want to make a cash offer uh even though it requires this reno uh it does it's it's habitable and everything like it's really not in like terrible condition you just got to replace the windows essentially is like the biggest thing here so you can definitely go ahead and buy it with financing right now and we're absolutely going to be accepting financed offers as well so uh if you want to submit a financed offer as well just shoot us an email sales at holdenwise.com be like hey i want to pay 180 uh financed here's my pre-approval from my lender what can you do right and i'll let you know if uh, your offer is accepted or not right uh, same thing, same process with the, the cash buyers, right? Just send me your proof of funds, right? That would be a screenshot of your bank account. Feel free to redact, like, account numbers or social security numbers. Uh, business, for me, is really, really good. I've sold over $200 million worth of Cleveland real estate, so I'm not currently in the market to commit identity theft upon you guys. However, the market can always change, right? So that may be more appealing to me at some point during the future. So let's go ahead and just have you redact that now uh, so I'm not tempted to come back to it later. I'm kidding, folks. I make jokes. That's what I do. Anyway, that's the deal. That's what's going on with this property. And if you're out there and you have your own real estate agent, uh, all of the information on how they could submit an offer on your behalf is going to be in the MLS. Have them check that as well. Catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.